What's going on everyone? On today's video, I want to show you some vlog footage of a killer combination to get stable, sharp 4K footage without having to sell your kidneys on the black market. This combination is using the Sony ZV-E10 camera, the new Sony 15mm f1.4 G lens, and the Shayun Crane M3 gimbal. I hope you like the vlog footage of using my setup at the park and at my niece's party where it got nice and dark. This is Jesse Sanchez with Ultratech. Let's get started. here with the family it's Johan all right guys let's go next next one so we I recently downgraded from a Honda Pilot to a 2022 Honda Civic and while I'm getting real nice MPGs and it's real nice to drive the negative is now I have to take this car out while my wife takes her car just for five of us to come to the park and on today's occasion we're testing out this this little cart that now you can put it faster Go right. So I'm still using the Crane M3 CV10 and this new G Lens F1.4. So I usually record it in studio, and now I know the reason why people use filters outside because I'm outside and I have to set some crazy settings to get decent looking footage whoa she's flying there yeah it's probably too fast <laughs> Probably too fast, you can't even keep up. Yeah. Don't run me over, come slowly. Come, you can keep going, keep going. Guys, look at me. Nothing. And Jaya, the legend, he goes as Neo. He started movies like The Matrix 1, 2, 3, and The Horrible Matrix 4. So, Neo, what's your next plans? There are multiple. Neo has to poop. There are multiple Matrix. I thought there were just two. The original ones were 1, 2, and 3, and this horrible one that they made now is Matrix 4, Resurrection, or I have no idea what the name was.
So for the Sony ZV-10, you're gonna spend $750. For the G-Lens, seven or 750, depending on how you get the price. And $370 for the Shine Crane M3. So that's about $1,800 for this entire setup. And considering that price, you get a, a gimbal, a real sharp looking camera with a real sharp lens. And it's only $1,800. You can use it for blogging if you want, or you can use it on a studio setup like I do. I rarely do any blogging. Just now that I'm showing you some of this footage on this with this setup. But yeah, just for $1,800, you're going to get a real, real killer combination. As opposed to if you're going to get the more expensive A7S III or the A7IV, which is from $3,500 to $6,000 once you buy the lens. Then you add a gimbal that's about six seven thousand dollars so for compared to that eighteen hundred dollars a real bargain and you'll be real happy with the results so the only con I can think of this lens is the pricing because you can get similar quality with the Sigma 16 millimeter for around three hundred fifty dollars and this is double or a little more than double the price so that's the only con You better turn up You better be there when I shake Watch me rockin' if I can't stop If I should fall How old are you now? 20 Oh, I almost brought you a tequila bottle Next year <laughs> Next year, next year Legally next year You like your car? I love it Rambo brakes? What? <laughs> what? I'm sorry <laughs> Did you guys enjoy this footage of the CVE-10 using the 15mm Sony lens with the Crane M3? Let me know down in the comments if you have this setup already or if you're planning to invest in it. I also have similar footage using the same setup but using the Sigma 16mm lens. And I also have done a review on the Sony CVE-10 if you're interested in that video feel free to go watch them now. If you like this video, give it a like so it can spread to more people and subscribe to our channel for a lot more cool tech content. Until next time, Ultra Tech out. <laughs>